Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are talking the brand new turrets, how to get them, how to unlock them, where the burgle chips are to get them, and everything it takes to build them. So let's hop in and let's talk a little bit more about turrets. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about how to make one of the turrets. Then we'll talk about how to fill the turrets, what they can do, and then finally we'll talk about how to unlock them and where the different burgle chips are that you're going to need for them. So first of all, let's talk about building them. Both turrets require the same materials in order to build. Both of the turrets, which is the pebblet turret and the pollen turret, are both going to require two acorn shells one acorn top, three lint rope, one flower petal, and two weed stems in order to make. Not that difficult to make, actually. The most advanced thing that you need here is the lint rope, which I know lint rope is kind of a pain in the butt to get. You gotta fight lint mites, or you gotta go through, or dust mites, in order to get that off of that table over there, or go over to the glove and grab it to get the, the uh, lint from over there as well. I know it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but these turrets are worth it, as you guys saw in the video earlier, that those turrets do shoot actually at a pretty good rate, and they do do some decent damage as well. So, you can go through and make these for yourself, there are the two different kinds. Now, what does each one do? The pebblet turret is here for pure damage, right? As you guys saw just a little bit ago, when you walk up to it, you can go in here and just shoot pebblets out of it at an extremely fast rate right that is how the public turret works it just goes through and shoots things out of the turret you can also build these up on top of pedestals like you guys have that i see here sadly though they do not go very low you can't go any lower than this but they do aim a pretty good distance up in the air and you can spin 360s around without having to stop on any side it literally could spin 360 to do base defense from any angle so a very valuable piece of kit that got added to the game for you to be able to go out and try out so that's the pebblet turret the pollen turret works exactly the same except it shoots pollen instead of pebblets and the pollen is used to slow enemies and also bring them down from the sky so it's going to allow you to fight anything that's flying around like mosquitoes or bees bring them to the ground and allow you to fight them that much easier so having a public turret around is actually a pretty cool idea i'm hoping at some point um, we can get some sort of automated system in there to allow these to shoot automatically so that way you're not sitting here trying to figure out how to shoot um, these turrets while being on the ground fighting i think that these will be really helpful for you to use say in a uh, multiplayer uh, standing or something like that making it so when you're going through and fighting you're actually having somebody using a turret and somebody else taking aggro on the ground i'm sure that these are going to do pvp damage as well so just keep an eye out for all of those now they do have a deciding factor on the side of them to mark on which one is which even though it says pollen turret on there but even from a distance you can see this is the pollen turret because that is a definite flower of some sort and this is the pebblet turret how it has that red mark on the side of it so that's an easy way to distinguish between looking at the two of them to be able to decide okay which turret is doing what for me now let's talk about loading these things all right loading the turrets is actually a super cool way that you can do it you can either load the items into your inventory if you have some pebbles in your inventory you can go ahead and load them up in your inventory get into the pebble turret and start launching them or you can load up, say, a basket nearby, right? You could put pebblets inside of the basket. And if we look, I have four pebblets inside of that basket, none of my inventory. When I go here into the pebble turret, there is now four pebblets in here, and I can fire them off just like that, making it really awesome that it will pull from chests around you. So you can literally fill two or three chests and sit there and only use this turret to shoot things. Now, the turret does have its own health, so you need to be careful of bugs attacking it as well, because things will slowly come come to destroy your base at some point now with all of the different updates that have been done to grounded so that is as we are talking how to load both the pebble and pollen turret because the pollen turret and the pebble turret work exactly the same in the way that you load them a chest or inside of your inventory okay guys now i want to talk about how to actually unlock these things because 
you guys are probably wondering, well, these turrets are really, really cool, Sim, and they're not that hard to build, but how in the world do I unlock them? I can't find these things anywhere except in creative mode. Well, it's actually not that hard to build, guys. In order to build these things, you need to go and find two different burgle chips. And the one we're going to start off with is the pollen burgle chip, okay? In other words, we need to go over and find the burgle chip to unlock the pollen turret. And in order to do that, we are going to just zip up over this way and go to, you guys guessed it, the picnic table right over by where the beehive used to be and now where we have a large honey pot so this chest that is right here on top of the picnic table that you need to use the minotaur key in order to open that normally would give you all the things from that chest now also gives you the pollen turret as a recipe so you go here and you grab this auxiliary burgle chip from this chest and bring it back to burgle and you can buy it from him for 4000 raw science now 4000 raw science seems like a lot of raw science right and it's like sim that's a ton. How am I going to get that much? Go fight two mixers. Each mixer gives you 2,000 plus burgle quests and I'll give you a ton more experience and a ton more points. So go out and use it that way. Now, if you guys are wondering where the key is to be able to unlock this chest, I will show you right now. If you come right over here, there is a broken down pipe that's right here. Okay, so we're going to go right inside of this pipe really quick and you'll walk down this way, go down this water, and then it's going to be right back there inside of that cave back over there. Now, my character's not currently over here, so it's not spawning in, but that, I promise you, is where the Minotaur key is for you to go and grab, go back up there and unlock that chest. So that is how you unlock the pollen, burg, bur, pollen turret. Now, let's talk about how to unlock the pebble turret, because personally, me, that's the one I'm more excited about than the pollen one. But let's go over it and let's talk on how to unlock the pebble turret. So the pebble turret is a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get. And it is inside of the sandbox. And you guys guessed it. It's in that same area where you go to unlock your mint mace. This is where it is. It's inside of this door right here. In order to unlock this door, you will need the assistant manager's key card. So in order to get that, you have to go all the way through the black and hill. Fight the assistant manager again, grab the key card, bring it over here, put it in that door. You will actually end up going through the door, walking down here, and it will be slapped right in the middle of this table for you to pick up and use and bring back to Burgle. Also, another 4,000 raw science to unlock that one as well. So if I had to make a suggestion, start with the pebblet turret. The pollen turret sounds really, really cool, but start with the pebblet turret, get that one unlocked, get used to using that one, and then move on to get the other one. Now, when I say it's not that big of a deal to have to go through and get the, um, Bert, the assistant manager key card again you have to do it anyway every single person that that plays the game whether it's in public test or real launch is going to have to restart the story and do all the labs again you do not lose your armor you do not lose your weapons you do not lose your bases you do not lose anything in your equipment you only have to redo all the labs again because the story has changed significantly and i'll be making a video on all those changes here for you guys in just a little while but that is everything that is going on right now within all of the different areas this is how you unlock those turrets i hope that this one was helpful for you guys i really like the turrets i think that they're really cool and i can't wait to see some other ones maybe some arrow turrets maybe some you know bomb turrets or something like that to come in the future the sky is the limit with this game guys and the developers come out and said look at what we can do we can really bring some awesome things to the game and we can really show you guys what we can do so thank you everybody so much for watching this one don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave me a comment down below and if you could please don't forget to hit that like button and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one